Hey guys, Malt here, what's going on? I wish you all a happy new year. By the way, today we are going to play Pokemon Ultra Sun with the Citra 3DS emulator for Android. The device I'm using today is the Moki i7s by Snail Games. Well, the Moki has Snapdragon 710 and 6GB RAM. And yeah, Citra, um, actually the, the developers released the newest version for Android devices and it re really runs fairly good, at least on high-end Android devices. So with the Snapdragon 710 we are quite limited. You guys can see here the FPS going on and yeah, I will show you a brief gameplay of uh, Pokemon Ultra Sun. Let's see how that goes. And as you guys can see, um, I already mapped the buttons and everything corresponding to the actual buttons on this device. I mean, it's kind of playable. Um, we are starting fresh out to see if the FPS um, improves or even gets worse. Definitely a lagging going on as well uh, on the music side. Okay, here's a pretty hard part for <laughs> this device actually. We are running now with 7 to 9 FPS on the fairly open world. So yeah, that's the reason why I told in the beginning that we actually would need a quite high-end Android device to actually run this game fairly good. Let me just lower the volume a little bit, it gets kind of annoying. Alright. 
I mean, it's it's still playable. You just need um, quite a bit more time to actually get through everything. The cutscenes tend to be play a little bit more fluid. Actually, not really. The cutscenes are also really, really uh, slow. And by the way, I didn't really change any settings. This is just stock.
Okay, um, it's about 10 minutes and the performance didn't really get better at least um, in the beginning part of this game. But nevertheless, uh, thank you a bunch for watching and if you have any other suggestions I should try out with the Mohi i7s, just uh, hit me um, down below the comments area. I will try to realize them. As always, thank you a bunch for watching again and have a good one. Bye guys.